Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing and opening review. So today we have one of the older Mega Bloks sets. We have the Call of Duty Mega Bloks Light Armor Firebase set. So the set includes 514 pieces. It has one named character being Alex Mason from the Black Ops universe, a light armored vehicle, as well as a nice little outpost with two generic figures. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the back. So, you know, this is, you know, it's an older set that came out back in 2012. I actually picked this up back when it first released, but as you can imagine with most of my older sets at the time, they did get parted. Uh, I found this set um, online for a very good price. It was about 20 bucks, and so I had a hard time passing that up. So I decided to pick it up. As you can tell, the box is a little damaged. It is older, it's about six years old. But, um, you know, given the, the circumstances, like, you know, I might as well add, uh, you know, this set again to my collection. Um, so, as you can see, you know, the back with the back display art and everything else, uh, pretty typical. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the, the vehicle for the set. So, this is a, like, a early 2003 style um, model Humvee that we used earlier on in uh, OIF and OEF. And the reason why I'm saying that is this is... Uh, pre, you know, experience with IEDs, you know, improvised explosive devices. So we didn't have a lot of uh, up armor on the side panelings or under the uh, on the undercarriages for the vehicle. So the Humvee itself is a nice tan color. Um, it's got that mesh side door as well. The top does come off, and then we have a seat, or we have two seats, center console with a gear shifter and uh, a steering wheel. That's about it. The vehicle has two turrets, one in the back and then one on the top with the turret placement. Uh, the turret does rotate, swivels as well as turns up and down. Um, and then, you know, about, besides that, that's about it with the vehicle. So this is, again, if you guys are remembering back in 2012 when these sets were first coming out, they, you know, they had pretty good detail, but they didn't have the detail that we have now with Mega Constructs and, you know, Mega Blocks just growing as a company. So like, for example, one of the biggest things is like the undercarriage, right? So a lot of the newer vehicles, you have a lot of the undercarriage built up, you have, you know, shocks placed in, you out, you know, you also have like motor systems and engines placed into the vehicle. So this one doesn't remove, there's, you know, there's no exposed engine component or anything like that. Um, so this is pretty bare bones in that sense um, when looking at the, you know, the Humvee. Uh, it's still a nice looking piece. Um, so and after taking a look at everything else, I'll explain why I actually, per you know, picked this up again. Uh, the outpost that's included is on one of the, um, you know, those uh, kind of oddly shaped panel pieces. Uh, it's about, you know, it's got sandbags in a, uh, an S configuration about three high with two pegs, um, that are holding up that mesh tarp area on the inside. It does include a two by eight, uh, held up by two one by one studs to simulate a nice little bench area. The sandbags do have rifle clips putting in there. So you can either attach, you know, your assault weapons or you can, you know, attach the turret. Uh, to use this as another play feature as well. Some of the accessories, um, we have a med kit, which is pretty slick. Uh, one of the older style riot shields. And I'm not gonna go through all of them because there's a lot of them in here. If I can get this open, but. So we have an e-tool um, or you know, a shovel. We have binoculars, uh, extra magazines, claymores, canteens, flashlights, uh, scope for one of the weapons. And then um, some extra um, leg harnesses so you can attach additional clips onto the figures. So first thing you're going to take a look at is Captain Alex Mason from Black Ops 1 and 2. Uh, as you can see, he's you know, you know, sporting his pretty standard um, fatigues. He's got a, you know, like a grayish, tannish style um, upper torso shirt. He's got green. Pants with brown boots, um, one of the older style vests, and then, you know, like the, a side, or a, I guess like a, a dump pouch, or, you know, that looks kind of like a fanny pack in the back, a knife that he's holding an AK-47. So, um, if I can get a close up of his face. So the reason why I picked this up is when I first got the set, as you can see with the face mold, um, my, my figure was actually like very, um, just disconformed, and so it just, it did not look, I mean, half of his face was actually, um, missing. So 
You know, it was one of those things where at the time, you know, Alex wasn't like a huge fan for me. You know, I wasn't a huge fan of Alex Mason. I wasn't a huge fan of the Black Ops universe. I was much more interested in the Modern Warfare series, you know, with Soap, Price, and those characters, to say the least. So I wasn't so invested in the figure. So I passed on it, you know, because I had Woods. Um, and then as, you know, the Black Ops 4 game came out, for those of you that have played the Black Ops game mode it's a new battle royale themed game but it, it um has characters that you can actually play as and that are um you know in in the game from all four black ops games so you have characters from black ops 1 black ops 2 black ops 3 and you know the specialists from black ops 4 all in blackout mode which again is that battle royale mode but what's really neat about it is that it has um kind of you know, hot points or areas from each one of these games. So, and in the Call of Duty universe. So if you play zombies, you know, you'll see Asylum, you'll see the diner in there. Um, there's a few other areas that include the zombies area. You've got Nuketown. Um, there's just a bunch of areas, um, you know, throughout the games, you know, especially like, and uh, very fan favorite maps as well. They're all kind of, you know, they drawn down in size and, brought into this universe. So it's a really neat idea. Uh, I like that they brought in a lot of the characters. So the reason why, you know, going back to the reason why I picked this up for this price is one, obviously for the parts, um, you know, it's nice to have the, the Humvee, but two, the reason why is there's been a few iterations of Alex Mason. So we've had him in this set. We've had him in the, uh, the like the motorcycle raid where he came in that uh, pretty small set with the motorcycle and then one with the, uh, like him with the horse. So, each time that I've gotten this figure, with the exception of this one, there's been something wrong with the paint mold. It's kind of like this has been one of those figures that have literally haunted me in my in my collection, right? Of not having a good paint application for them. So um, I'm a big fan of the older style uh, Mega Blocks sets. So this includes pretty much from their first initial run um, up until about 2014. And the reason why uh, the figures themselves, uh, the plastics used for the figures. It's a lot more durable. These were, uh, you know, in my opinion, I think these were made more for like a play value. They're um, they're less fragile. So with the newer sets that are still, you know, coming out right now with the Heroes lines, and then with, you know, I guess with the uh, the Trooper packs that were coming out, I haven't seen one out in a while. But um, the plastics used have been less malleable, less durable, uh, easier and fragile, um, like easier to break and more fragile. I'm I broke. I I'm a big. Um, customizer and stuff like that. So I've noticed that there's a big issue with that with those new figures. So it's always nice to get my hands on some of these older figures because the you know uniforms, body parts and everything are always in better quality in my opinion. So going back to again why I got Alex Mason this time is one obviously for my collection I wanted to get a good paint application for him, but two what I'd like to do is uh, I'm actually going to start doing a uh, a mock of a portion of the blackout map. Uh, included with you know all of my um, Black Ops era style figures throughout the collection, so it's going to be a really neat uh, display that I'm going to do. Um, and so that was kind of one of the main reasons why I brought you know why I bought the set again to get it. Um, so not really a review, you know. I, would, I guess what I would say with this set is if you guys are big on customization, if you guys are big on looking at trying to get a hold of some of these older sets. They're going pretty pricey now, especially the, the 2012, 2013 sets. Um, they are a little pricey on Amazon. You can get lucky on eBay uh, and find these for like under what they were at MSRP at, the, at that time. Uh, so you just have to be diligent with it. Um, you know, besides that, guys, I don't have a whole lot else to say for the, you know, the, the set itself. But um, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. What I'd like to see in the comments though is, so I'm still trying to figure out if you are a Black Ops fan. Or specifically, like have you, you know, if you play the blackout beta, um, tell me an area that you'd like to see for the you know included in the mock. So I'm still trying to. I've got a few ideas for where I'd like to get my mock uh, at least started for the blackout map to include some of the figures and stuff like that, the helicopters and troopers parachuting in. But again, it's pretty open and I, you know it's open to discussion. So if you guys have any ideas, please leave a comment. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a video. But besides that, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Bye.